What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Soyak Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you make this stacker quilt. Let's get started. So all you need for this project is a jelly roll or a junior jelly roll and 14 strips or one yard of fabric. It could be white, it can be black, just make sure it's a solid fabric, that way you can get the contrast between prints. So as you can see in front of me, I've got my white strip here, my white strips here, and I've got my jelly roll. You're going to only need 14 of these pieces. So the rest of them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them for my binding. I really like the look of these multicolor bindings. So I'm going to set these aside. Then what we're going to want to do is put our material right sides together. And we're going to do this to every last one of the strips. We're going to put it right sides together and sew all the way down. And we're going to just keep adding on to this. So I've got a blue and a white, then we have another print, and then we have another solid, so on and so forth. Let me start sewing here. And a little pro trick here for you guys to keep everything straight and even is if you start at the top of your strip and run all the way down, on your next strip you want to start at the opposite end and go up. The reason for this, it keeps everything straight in the end. If you only sew from one side, sometimes your fabric starts turning a little bit and that just compounds over your whole quilt. So make sure you're going back and forth like that. And you're going to want to iron every seam, okay? As soon as it comes off the sewing machine, iron it out, make sure everything's straight. We're dealing with a lot of straight lines as you can see here, so make sure everything is ironed and pressed correctly. I'm gonna press this, I'm gonna keep going, and I'll show you where I get to, okay? So I already got most of my quilt sewn up here. What I'm gonna do is add my last row onto this, which is this one here. And again, going back and forth, back and forth, on this quilt, very, very easy to do. And what I'm gonna do, I just wanna make sure I got my sides on right and everything. I always wanna line up my ends to make sure everything stays pretty much consistent all the way through. Take it over to my sewing machine. And then as I'm sewing, just a quick little thing. Some of you may have already seen this quilt. We showed this in our D-Stash this last week. For those of you who don't know what our D-Stash is, every Saturday night at 6 p.m. we do this big D-Stash through Facebook and YouTube. That's 6 p.m. our time, Las Vegas, Nevada time. Um, so join in for that. And we also do stuff on Tuesday nights as well. So keep in tune with that. And I'm going to keep sewing here. And again, iron everything. You wanna make sure this quilt is flat as can be. So I'm gonna iron this again, and I'm gonna show you how we do our cuts on this. So this is what our quilt top is looking like so far. Well, the next step is, is to trim it down and make our cuts, okay? So I'm gonna move everything out of the way here, and we're gonna put it right sides together while we're doing these cuts. So fold them. Make sure everything is nice and straight. What I like to do is, when you fold this, I'll show you on the top camera, you can see that it's landing right on this seam here. I don't know how well you can see that in the top. Yeah, you can. It's landing right here on this seam. So I wanna make sure everything is super duper flat here. That way I can make my cuts properly. I'll pull everything out that I can. and both, all your edges should line up relatively, if not on point. Now, we have to fold this one more time. So, we're gonna fold it one more time, make sure everything is straight. And 
This is like the big moment of truth here. We cannot uncut, as all of us know. So we have to make sure our cuts are precise and on point, but they're not hard cuts to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on my left end and I'm going to cut off all of those salvages and make sure I have a really straight edge to work off of. Let me grab a ruler and a cutter. I'm going to make my first cut, again, cutting off all my salvages. So make sure I'm real straight here on the line. So this is what my salvages look like. Really easy, those are going to scrap bin. Now, the next step, it all depends on how well you sewed this, okay? Um, what I like to do just to give myself a little bit more wiggle room, I'm gonna make all of my cuts at eight and a quarter inches. That works all the way across and I should end up with like about an inch, inch and a half at the end extra. If you wanna go a little bit more brave, cut it at eight and a half, but I recommend an eight and a quarter just so that it is all good. Um, so let's cut our eight and a quarter here. And again, uncutting is impossible. So make sure you're right on your mark. So I know for sure I'm on my eight and a quarter here. Which gives me my first one. Um, so I'm gonna just keep cutting here. So again, you want to cut everything at eight and a quarter. So I've got one, two, three, four. And let me show you off this last piece that you end up getting here. I'll slide this all, all the way down. I'll slide this all over to 10, that way I have a straight edge. And this is the little piece that I'm talking about that you get in the end. So when I cut this, you'll, you'll see that I just got this itty bitty piece left over. That's why I say cut everything at eight and a quarter and not eight and a half because there's not very much room for error with these. So that's all that you're left with. Itty bitty pieces. So everything at eight and a quarter. So now that we've cut all our strips, it's time to show you how you make this effect. It's very, very simple to do. So what I'm going to do is show you how we did this. I'm going to start backwards than normal. That's the reason why it has this look to it. I'm going to start on the right side of my quilt and move towards the left. Instead of starting on the left side, moving to the right. So, that is our first strip up there already. Now it's time to add on to it. And I only have to show everyone this once. It's very, very simple to do. I've got my edges here. I'm going to lay them right sides together and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam. Which I know everyone right now is saying, oh wait, you're sewing that together, that's wrong. Just trust me on this one, it's much like the Bargellos. This is how you make a Bargello quilt as well. Well, at least all the Bargellos I've made, this is the way that we've done it. So, I've sewed this down, and now I'm gonna unpick whatever row I like. That way, I can line it up to my next one. So, I got my gray piece here, and I want the gray piece, I'm gonna show you like this, to be one step under my gray piece at the top. So, if I lay this down like this, I now know, oh, keep that up there. I know that I need to unseam the next row up. So, I'm going to Grab my seam ripper, wherever that ended up, right here. And I'm just gonna unpick this row. So I'm gonna unseam this and make sure we're always doing that step down. And once I unseam this, it's gonna make a little bit more sense here. So. So, 
as you can see, I only went up one step. And when you do that, it 100% lines up with all the ones after that. So I'm going to just keep doing this process until I have all of my strips, okay? So, going back to sewing and unseaming. I'm going to just sew all mine real quick and start unseaming. So once I unseamed everything and got everything laid out, this is what it looks like behind me. Obviously, I still have to sew my rows together, but all you have to do to do that is a quarter inch seam down each row and take your time. Make sure that your corners line up, make sure your points line up. I personally use Wonder Clips on everything, so I just clipped all of my points there and it came out great. Um, I'm going to get this finished up and take it across the building to our in-house lawnmower to have it finished, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Just one announcement is on Tuesday nights and on Saturday nights we are doing our D stash. Um, that starts at 6 p.m. Las Vegas, Nevada time. And if you've liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. We're gonna leave instructions on how to make this down in the description below. My name's Tiankum, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Your Quilting.